alkynes, essentially the same as alkenes except for a triple bond. Alkynes have two less hydrogens than alkenes. The simplest alkyne is ethyne. This particular compound is commonly called acetylene and when ignited with pure oxygen as in the case of an acetylene torch, it can burn at temperatures higher than 3000 degrees Celsius. The acetylene torch or oxyacetylene torch is used for welding, cutting and shaping metals. The two less hydrogens than alkenes gives it a general formula of CnH2n-2. Like similarly sized alkenes, ethyne and propyne have only one position for its multiple bond. And like alkenes, compounds larger than three carbon chain form structural isomers. The rules for naming alkynes are the same as for alkenes. Only this time the suffix for alkynes is "-ine". This is a line structural formula for hept-3-ine. Notice the linear shape that is always around the triple bond. Carbons 2, 3, 4, and 5 here have a linear configuration. Recall from Vespa theory in Chemistry 20 or Chemistry 30 prep that a central atom with two electron groupings have a linear structure. While alkenes had boiling points and melting points lower than that of similarly sized alkanes, alkynes differ by having melting and boiling points higher than alkanes. Now I know I said that the lower boiling points of alkenes were due to having less atoms, thus less electrons, reducing the effectiveness of the London forces. So if alkynes have even fewer atoms and electrons, why have a higher boiling point? The linear nature of the triple bond in alkynes improves intermolecular interaction, requiring more energy to overcome these attractive forces. Cyclic hydrocarbons. This line structural formula is cholesterol. Cholesterol is from a family of organic compounds called steroids. And steroids have four connected hydrocarbon rings. Cholesterol is insoluble in water and is carried around your body via the circulatory system inside small lipid protein bubbles called lipoproteins. Lipoproteins moving away from the liver to other parts of the body are called low-density lipoproteins or LDLs. Moving towards the liver, the cholesterol-filled lipoproteins have a slightly different structure called high-density lipoproteins or HDLs. Too high a concentration of LDLs can cause health problems leading to heart attack or stroke. LDLs are frequently referred to as bad cholesterol. This similar looking substance has the four hydrocarbon rings of a steroid. It is in fact derived from cholesterol. It is the male sex hormone testosterone. Estrone, estriol, and estradiol are also steroid hormones derived from cholesterol and known collectively as the female sex hormone estrogen. In sunlight, the ultraviolet light breaks open the hydrocarbon rings of cholesterol to ultimately form vitamin D an essential vitamin that helps your body absorb calcium. Cholesterol is one of a class of hydrocarbons called cyclic hydrocarbons. Cyclic hydrocarbons occur when the beginning of a hydrocarbon chain connect with its end to form a ring structure. The line structural formula for these rings are shown here. They can be alkanes, alkenes, or alkynes and have similar physical properties to their straight chain counterparts. The root and suffix have the same naming conventions as the straight chain aliphatics, but as you probably noticed, the root is preceded by cyclo. There are no numbers to indicate where the multiple bond is because it is assumed to be between carbon numbers 1 and 2. Carbon atoms are not numbered if there are no side groups, or if a cycloalkane has only one side group. Otherwise, side groups are listed in alphabetical order as before. Number the carbon so as to provide the lowest numbers possible in the name. Treat the ring itself as the parent chain, if side groups are present. For example, numbering the carbons in this manner gives us 1,6-dimethylcyclohexene. 
which is wrong when compared to the name we would get if the carbons were numbered going the other way. And instead of 1,6-dimethylcyclohexene, we get 2,3-dimethylcyclohexene, smaller numbers yielding the correct name. Once again, I cannot overstate the importance of practicing these skills to firmly memorize the rules of drawing and naming these hydrocarbons. The empirical molecular formula for a cycloalkane is CnH2n. Cycloalkene, CnH2n minus 2. Cycloalkyne, CnH2n minus 4. Note that the cyclic alkanes are isomers of alkenes, and that cyclic alkenes are isomers of alkynes.